Hi, I just filmed this entire video and the audio wasn't on. So we're back for round two. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about another very important topic in my life, and that is why Age of Ultron is trash. Huh? I promise one day I'll make a video talking about something positively, because my track record right now is that I only talk about movies I really don't like. But it's very easy to talk about something you don't like, and hard to talk about something you love. Right? Disclaimer, I do think Age of Ultron has some good qualities and is a decent movie. However, this is about why this movie is garbage for fans of Black Widow, because this was the worst movie that she was ever a part of. And I didn't want to call this video why Age of Ultron is garbage according to a Black Widow fan, because I already have one video on Scarlett Johansson and I don't want it to become a regular thing, although it is. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't want, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so we're capping it at two Scarlett Johansson videos for now. Let's just dive right into this, okay? So for non-Marvel fans, let me explain. Age of Ultron is the second Avengers movie that came out, but is not the second Marvel film that came out. Avengers was like the first movie that brought together all of these title characters, like Iron Man and Captain America and Thor, who all had their own separate movies prior to Avengers coming out. And then Hawkeye and Black Widow were both featured in one of those movies, like Black Widow was in Iron Man 2, and Hawkeye was in Thor. So we had all these movies ahead of time. And the Hulk we already had, but it was Edward Norton's version of the Hulk, but the character was the same. Just Mark Ruffalo premiered as the Hulk in Avengers in 2012. Now you don't need to know anything else except that Avengers came out in 2012, then in 2014 we had Winter Soldier come out, and in 2015 Age of Ultron came out. There are Guardians and Doctor Stranges and all this wonderful other characters and stuff, but all I am talking about today is the Avengers, and more specifically, Black Widow. So let's go back to 2012 when everything was fine in this world and Avengers came out, and it was like a pretty decent movie, like dude, like superheroes all coming together like this started it off like this was exciting for fans because you had all your favorites like getting together on a team and it was awesome now Doc Sweden had some weird choices in this film and you know some cinematography choices that I personally think are really not good like when Hawkeye wakes up from being under mind control and there's like an iMovie filter on the screen and there's just a random diagonal camera angle he decided to use those are choices he made. Mm -hmm. but other than that, the movie was good. Loki was the villain and it was, you know, a nice little taste of Avengers and what was to come. And then Captain America Winter Soldier comes out in 2014 and this movie blew my mind. I was a Black Widow fan starting when Iron Man 2 came out, so for Avengers, I was really excited to see her as like a featured character. And Avengers really did a good job with that. I mean, there was still some sexualization of Natasha, but I felt like it was pretty tame for the majority of the film. Now I'm gonna put a pin in Avengers. We will come back to it, but let's talk about the beauty that was Winter Soldier. The best Marvel film in my eyes with Bucky and such a great characterization of Natasha and this friendship between her and Steve. It was so well done and Falcon, it was just such a good movie. Black Widow's characterization in this film was incredible. She starts opening up to Steve and they have this kind of older brother, younger sister. She's like a little shithead to him this entire movie. And personally that's how I view it. I know some people ship them and that's totally fine but in my eyes I saw this as like a cute brother sister because this entire movie she's wearing an arrow necklace and back before Ultron came out I kind of assumed Black Widow was with Hawkeye which brings us back to Avengers in 2012 where they had a lot of scenes together seeming like they were together. Just the drop of his last name brings Natasha out of an entire mission she's been working on and she's the only one that could stop him and they make all these weird eye glances. It's like they're like eye fucking each other this entire movie. Maybe I was wrong to assume because, well I was wrong to assume but I think back then it was like a thing. Like Clint Tasha, like Clint and Natasha, their ship name was one really popular tag on like fan fiction websites and Tumblr and all that type of stuff. So sorry I believed that they were together. I don't think it was maybe my fault that I was assuming these things. So 
recap, we have Avengers, mwah, chef's kiss. We have Winter Soldier, which is mwah, mwah, two chef's kiss. And then we have Age of Ultron, which if it were a meal, I would send it back because something was wrong with it. Like I said before, Age of Ultron is kind of a good movie. Like the plot is interesting, James Bader's Ultron is incredible, and I liked the twins, although I don't understand really why they killed Pietro, but whatever. The characterization of Black Widow in this movie is garbage. Honestly, take a shot every time I say garbage and you'll be dead by the end of this video. But like, her characterization went off the rails for no reason. Let's start off right from the beginning with the fact that she's with the Hulk now. She was terrified of him in Avengers and there was nothing explaining the beginning of their relationship. And all of a sudden they're just supposed to be together. And she's like weirdly hand caressing his giant fingertips. This first scene wasn't between like Bruce and Natasha. The first scene we get is her bringing the Hulk down back to Bruce and her weird like, hey big there guy. big guy, sun's getting, getting real, real low. low. I hate that line. Put that line up on my list of least favorite Scarlett Johansson lines right under I remember the taste of your milk in my mouth. Oh my god, Scarlett Johansson, please stop taking roles where you have to say these cringy fucking lines because I cannot stand it anymore. Every scene that is romantic between the Black Widow and the Hulk, she's completely out of character and you cannot tell me wrong. Like think about like her and Hawkeye's relationship where you thought they were romantic with each other. She wasn't super lovey which is why I kind of assumed they were together because I don't really think that Natasha would ever get to the point of other Scarlett Johansson films, you know, where she's like the young, sexy, romantic lead. I kind of assumed that Black Widow, you know, one of the toughest assassins in the world, would have a tougher personality with romantic interests, but I, I guess I guess I was wrong because she turns into a completely different human being when she's in love with the Hulk. And the Hulk and Black Widow didn't make sense. And besides the fact that like I was assuming that Hawkeye and Black Widow were gonna get together, if like Steve and Natasha got together, that would make more sense than the Hulk and Black Widow. And if I couldn't have Hawkeye and Black Widow, like Bucky should have been her love interest. Like there was like a whole comic book series about Bucky and Natasha being together. And that makes so much more sense because they have similar experiences. And I don't think anyone across the board wanted Black Widow and Hulk together. Like, I don't think that was ever something that someone was like, hey, can we put this big green man with this small red girl? Like, no, I don't think anyone said that. So why it happened just doesn't make sense to me. No one wanted it. Which leads me to the bedroom scene, which we need to discuss. Like, similar to the hospital scene in Lucy, this was just like the peak cringe scene that made me hate this movie so much more than I already didn't like it. And that's because Black Widow, the words that she is saying are just so cringy. Like, they're just so incredibly uncomfortable to watch. First off, the scene starts with her like modeling in a bathrobe on a bed while she's like having PTSD flashbacks of her uterus being cut out of her. Oh yeah, that's like the first thing you see is her just being like, oh, ah, what a bad memory. Oh my god. And then the Hulk comes out of like the bedroom and he's all like naked and hairy and is like, oh, I, I used all the hot water. And then Black Widow's like, oh my god, I should have came in sooner then. <laughs> like what? Oh, it's so bad. And then they have this entire conversation where she like goes up to him and her voice changes. Like, listen to Black Widow here. Agent Barton was sent to kill me. He made a different call. And then listen to Black Widow here. I'm running with it. With you. Running's the plan. As far as you want. Completely different voice. Like her inflection is up. It just sounds like Scarlett Johansson. It doesn't sound like Black Widow. It just sounds like a romantic sexual girl and not like a powerful superhero who is the only woman we have at this time because Wanda's not on the team yet. So like it was so frustrating to see this film. See my favorite character, the only woman on the team, turn into just like, uh -huh, oh my god, like I should have jumped in the shower with you. Like it would have been great. I don't have a uterus anymore, so I guess I'm like a monster. I can't carry children. <laughs> what the hell? You still think you're the only monster on the team? Like, I know that's an exaggeration, but that's exactly how I felt watching that movie. Because it's like, would Black Widow even want a kid? I don't know. Ugh. 
And besides, like, just the way she talks, and it's just, it's so bad. Brings me to my third and final point of why I really hate Age of Ultron, and that's Hawkeye's family. Now, there are a bunch of different reactions to the discovery of Hawkeye's family. There are some people that like it because it's in the comics. There are some people that like it just because they like it. There are people who don't like it because they say it's not in the comics, which it, it is, but like, We'll get there. And there are people who don't like it because it, it doesn't make sense at all. And then there are people who just don't care because they don't care about Hawkeye. And that I understand. But let's talk about this because people say that his family wasn't in the comics. And to that I say, technically the family exists in one series of the comics. Maybe more now that Ultron has come out, but I think there was only one original comic book series that had Laura Barton in it. And I could be completely and totally wrong and you could shit on me in the comments, but like I know that the specific one that oh, Laura and his kids are in is Earth 616. Now, let's talk about Earth 616 because Joss Whedon used this as his defense for creating Laura and Lila and Cooper in the movies. I literally don't remember the kids' names, but whatever. His family does exist in Earth 616. But if you were gonna go with Earth 616, Maybe you want to remember what happens in it. So let's take a gander at Earth 616 since, you know, it's in the comics and that's what we're basing the movie off of. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's weird. All of Hawkeye's family's dead in this and it's not the snap that did it. Well, huh, wonder how they, oh yeah, that's right. Black Widow kills his entire family. And then on top of that, Hawkeye kills Black Widow. So you're telling me Joss wanted to go with the 616 series and he wanted Black Widow to die and kill his entire family? No, you didn't. So I think the comic book defense is stupid. I don't know why Joss Whedon decided to put Clint with his entire family because it honestly doesn't fit Hawkeye, like the Matt Fraction Hawkeye that I love. And it just made no sense because I think people assumed Black Widow and Hawkeye would be together. And although their friendship is really good, Good now that you know he has a family. If you go back to Avengers in 2012 and rewatch that movie, I don't think Hawkeye had a family in that movie. Look at how many of those scenes he's like really intense with Natasha. And if I were Laura Barton, I would kick his ass. They seem to have a little bit more of a kind of relationship than I would want my husband to have with his work wife. Like, mm, no thank you. No, I'll pass on that one. And then that entire movie, when he's under mind control, everyone's completely fine with with killing him. Like everyone's completely 100% like, yeah, oh, oh, if you see him, shoot him and kill him. But like, would you do that to a man who has like two kids and a wife at home? You're gonna like kill that guy? You're gonna kill that guy because he's under my control and not try and catch him? You're gonna literally shoot him and throw bombs at him? Like that entire movie, they were just like, oh yeah, Hawkeye can die, like who gives a shit? But like, he's got like a family and like, why is he always away from his family? Like the family just didn't make sense because it's like, he's always away from them and he just seems like a deadbeat dad and like he's clearly making weird connections with Natasha so giving him a family was just unnecessary and you can't say oh it's because of the comic books because the comic books that have his family in it meant that you had to have Black Widow kill them and instead you had little girl running up to Annie Nat and being all cute and stuff. You know, this movie just has some really cringy, bad parts. And as much as I want to enjoy the plot, I will never get over the scenes with Black Widow and Hulk and this random family who are barely seen and just used as like a plot tool and nothing else. I feel bad because Linda Cardinelli's the wife. You got Linda Cardinelli and she's there like, Hi, I'm pregnant. You have fun on your mission, babe. All women in this movie just seemed defenseless, dumb women. And it was written by men, so that's probably why. I know, the video's getting deep now, ugh. In conclusion, Age of Ultron is just not, not a good movie for Black Widow fans. And personally, it's just not a, the best Avengers film. Like, I personally like to get it out of my memory as much as I can, especially certain images and scenes and lines hey big guy out of my head but instead that movie still exists and it made a lot of money like a lot of money like most of the marvel films do i would have preferred to see a movie that had people in character because you finally maybe got a chance to see the avengers interacting on a more personal level which would have been really exciting but nope we got this movie and it was 
Made. It was made. Like Lucy. I could keep going on why I don't like Age of Ultron, but I don't want to anger fans of MCU because you all are very passionate people and I honestly just don't care anymore because Black Widow hella dead at that cliff. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, comment down below what you think I should talk about next because I don't want to keep making videos about Scarlett Johansson, although it's seeming like I am because this is my second film in a row about her. Do the subscribe thing, don't do the subscribe thing. I'm still gonna make videos whether people watch them or not because I'm sad inside and I don't want to be a real adult yet, so I'm gonna make videos about stupid shit and put it online. Ooh, have a good day my kids. Goodbye. I just like blacked out. <laughs> well, touch the mic. Peace of mind only comes in the afterlife. Thought I told ya. I was looking for a sign. Maybe that should be my next video. Jeremy Renner's Jeep commercials. <laughs> Ooh, honestly? <laughs> again the uh. I didn't realize you were waiting I would have joined you but it didn't seem like the right time no I used up all the hot water I should have joined you the still window did we did we the world just saw the Hulk Whoa. Real Hulk for the first time. You know I have to leave. Are you assume that I have to stay? <laughs> I had this um dream. The kind that seems normal at the time. But when you wake Who wrote this? What is your dream? That I was an Avenger. <laughs> that I was anything more than the assassin they made me. <laughs> you think you're being hard on yourself. Oh my god, this part's so bad. Here I was, and that was your job. It's so cringy. They're breathing. I'm, I'm running with it. With you. If oh running my God. Plan, as far as you want. This is not Black Widow. This is not Black Widow. Ugh.